All right, so today we are going to continue to factor trinomials. but with multiple variables. So we're gonna say factoring trinomials like AX squared plus BXY plus CY squared. All right, it's gonna have multiple variables. The process is relatively simple. All the rules are going to be the same, meaning if you're asked to factor something like x squared plus 6xy minus 55y squared. Okay, if you look at this problem, if we just eliminate the y and the y squared, doesn't the trinomial look just like the problems we did the other day? All right. If we eliminate the y and the y squared, we would have x squared plus 6x minus 55. And those are the problems that we factored the other day. And all the rules are going to be the same, except for if we have a y in the middle and we have a y squared at the end in our binomials, We've got an x square, an x as a term and an x as a term. We're looking for factors of 55 that add up to 6. So we've got 1 and 55. Those don't add up to 6. And then we got 5 and an 11. And with a 5 and an 11, we can get to a 6. Okay? So remember, if this third term in the trinomial is negative, then we need to have a positive and a negative factor. If the second term in the trinomial is positive, then our largest factor needs to be positive. So the 11 is going to have to be positive. But look, since there's a y attached to the second and third term, we're just going to attach a y to the factors. So x plus 11y times x minus 5y will give us x squared plus 6xy minus 55y squared. Your technique is the same as what we did the other day. You just have to add the second variable to the second term in each of the binomials. Make sense? All right, so try m squared plus 6mn. Minus 27n squared. So we're looking for factors of 27 that sum 6. So we've got 1 and 27 and 3 and 9. Those are the only factors of 27. The 1 and the 27 won't work, but the 3 and the 9 will. So our factors are going to be m and m. This last term is negative, so we need a positive and a negative factor. The middle term is positive, so our largest factor needs to be positive. So it's going to be a 9n and a negative 3n. So m plus 9n times m minus 3n are the factors for m squared plus 6mn minus 27 n squared. Questions? Let's take a look at one more. A squared plus 12 a b plus 32 b squared.
factors of 32 that add up to 12. We've got 1 and 32. We've got 2 and 16. 3, we got 4 and 8. I think with 4 and 8, we can get to 12. So we've got an – everything's positive in this trinomial. When everything is positive, then both factors are going to be positive. So we're going to have an A plus 4B times A plus 8B. Those are your two factors for this trinomial. All right, so any questions on factoring trinomials with multiple variables? All right, then. Your practice for today is right here. Take a picture of it if it's easier.